The ceasefire seeks to end the worst episode of cross-border fighting since a 10-day war in 2021. The violence erupted on Tuesday, May 9, when Israel killed six Islamic Jihad commanders in targeted strikes, accusing them of planning attacks against Israel. The militant group responded by launching more than 1,000 rockets at Israel, some reaching as far as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Israel retaliated with hundreds of airstrikes on Gaza, targeting Islamic Jihad sites and operatives. The fighting claimed the lives of at least 35 people in Gaza, mostly militants but also some civilians, and two people in Israel, both Palestinian workers. The hostilities also sparked clashes in the West Bank and protests in Jerusalem, raising fears of a wider escalation. After five days of intense exchanges, Egypt managed to broker a ceasefire agreement between Israel and Islamic Jihad, with the help of the United Nations and Qatar. The truce was announced on Saturday night and took effect at 10 p. local time. However, in the half hour before the ceasefire, a barrage of rockets was fired from Gaza towards Israel, prompting renewed airstrikes by the Israeli military. Most of the rockets were intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome system and no casualties were reported. Both sides said they would abide by the ceasefire if the other side did the same, but warned that they were ready to resume hostilities if necessary. The ceasefire aims to restore calm and stability to the region and prevent further bloodshed. It also hopes to pave the way for a longer-term solution to the conflict between Israel and the Palestinian factions in Gaza, which has been under a blockade by Israel and Egypt since 2007. The ceasefire does not address the underlying issues that fuel the cycle of violence, such as the status of Jerusalem, the fate of Palestinian refugees, and the Israeli occupation of Palestinian territories. These issues remain unresolved and could trigger another round of fighting in the future. One of the main points of the truce between Israel and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad group in Gaza is that both sides agreed to stop targeting civilians, houses, and individuals. This means that Israel will refrain from carrying out airstrikes that destroy homes and kill civilians, while the Islamic Jihad will stop firing rockets that endanger Israeli towns and cities. The truce was brokered by Egypt, which called on both parties to adhere to the agreement and end the cycle of violence that has claimed dozens of lives in the past five days. The truce also aims to prevent further escalation of the conflict, which could lead to another full-scale war like the one that happened in 2021. The truce is seen as a victory for the Islamic Jihad, which managed to challenge Israel's military superiority and show its resilience despite losing six senior commanders and several military installations. It is also seen as a relief for Israel, which faced international criticism for its disproportionate use of force and its inability to stop the rocket barrage from Gaza. However, the truce is fragile and could be broken at any moment by either side. The underlying issues that fuel the conflict, such as the Israeli blockade of Gaza, the Palestinian division, and the lack of a political solution, remain unresolved. Therefore, the truce is only a temporary pause in a long-standing struggle that could erupt again at any time.